Hello! Hello to all of our um, Twitter and Periscope followers or anybody who happens to be jumping in on um, this live broadcast. So this is uh, Ranger Smiley uh, here again at Morristown National Historical Park in Morristown, New Jersey. Um, and what I am doing this evening is unveiling the uh, 17th century specifically the 1693 Scarlatti Opera manuscript that is in our collection. Um, so what we've got going on is we're going to have a special lecture this evening and we're going to have a special performance of that Italian opera by the Baroque uh, Orchestra of New Jersey and they uh, have been working really hard to put on a really good performance that will happen this coming Sunday. And uh, hello, uh, Bahamas, uh, New Jersey here. So you guys probably have a lot better weather than we do right now. Um, but so I'm going to turn the camera around. So there we go. Oh, it's a little dark. Let me see if I can focus a little bit. Uh, there we go. So in this little <laughs> covered case here, and I apologize again that it's dark in the museum, um, but here in this little covered case is the opera itself. So let me go ahead and do a a little pull on that and there she is so let me turn around here try to get a little bit better lighting um, so here is uh, here is the Scarlatti opera La Giudita um, so this is I'll tell you a little bit about it so Alessandro Scarlatti uh, was primarily based in Naples and Rome and he was a little bit ahead of his time because opera in uh, the early 1690s really was not a very popular um, medium. Uh, you were more in, uh, they were more interested into vocals and, and choruses. Um, but by the turn of the century, by 1700, let's see if I can get a little bit, a little bit closer. There we go. But by the 1700s, by the turn of the century. Um, the uh, opera had really taken off. And yes, this is um, one of several original um, manuscripts. So this one actually predates one. Oh, let me get my cheat sheet here. I've got a little cheat sheet, of course. Um, this particular um, manuscript uh, predates uh, one that is in the archives of the, and I apologize, my Italian is terrible, um, of the Conservatorio de Musica San Pietro a Marcella in Naples, Italy. Again, my apologies, um, I do not speak Italian. Um, but this one is a, in an earlier manuscript and it's actually more complete. Um, so some of you who may or may not know Morristown National Historical Park, Morristown is a Revolutionary War site. So you may be asking yourself, why on earth would an American Revolutionary War site have this manuscript in our collection? And um, it's, a really, it's, it's a really simple answer, and that is uh, one of our main donors of the collection items that we have uh, here at the park was a big collector of pretty much just about anything and everything. And um, it, his name was uh, Lloyd uh, Smith. And Lloyd Smith in uh, 1927 bought this manuscript at auction. And I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see a little bit of the Italian there. Um, he bought the manuscript at auction, 1927. And when he donated the collection, his entire collection of all this really neat and unique things, um, he donated that to the park in 1955. And so we have an amazing amount of collection items in our archives that really people never really see because it doesn't necessarily relate to our primary story. But one of the things that is a primary story here at Morristown is that um, we're all about preservation and commemoration of American heritage. So how does an Italian opera play into that? Well, it's more about, less about the, the Italian part of it and more about um, the, the history and the beauty of music. And so um, I'm going to take you back over to this page so you can see a little bit more. Um, but it's a really neat piece that never gets to see the light of day because, again, it doesn't really fit in our museum um, galleries. So it's really cool to be able to have this out on display. And so I'm unveiling it here on Periscope as well as on our Facebook page. And um, I'll try to post some more photos of the, uh, of the manuscript. But we've got the, again, the Baroque Orchestra of New Jersey that will be performing this very opera, La Giudita, and uh, they will be performing that on Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday, May 1st, here at Washington's Headquarters Museum. So an interesting little piece, um, 
uh, very unique and um, really unexpected. But we do have a lot of unexpected items in our collection, and we're going to try our best to kind of showcase some of these items as the cultural resource staff lets us take them out of collection storage to show off to you guys. Um, so there you go. If you guys have any questions, comments, what have you, feel free to tweet them at us. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to let you guys go for the evening. But thank you so much for joining us while we uh, are highlighting this very unique piece from our museum collection. And thank you guys so much. Again, shoot us a tweet if you've got any questions or comments um, or want to know more about it. Does the Metropolitan Opera know that you have the manuscript? That's a great question. I don't know 100%, um, but I can ask our cultural resource uh, chief, Ranger. Um, he might be able to give me more information on that. So I'll try to tweet that out um, later on this evening when he comes in, um, when he comes into the museum. Um, but that's a really good question. I, I know we have so much in our collection that sometimes we don't even know what we have. So it's kind of neat to be able to see and dig around in our collection and see some of the really cool stuff. Um, so thank you guys again for coming to check us out. And thank you guys again for coming out and check us out, checking us out. Uh, yeah, we are located in Morristown, New Jersey. So this evening we've got a special lecture uh, about La Giudita, um, but the performance is going to be on Sunday. Um, so, uh, and hopefully we'll get a recording recording of that performance. So we'll try to post some pieces of it on Twitter, on Facebook, etc. Um, so thank you guys again for joining us and have a great rest of your afternoon. Take care guys. Bye.